Hello. Would you like to learn some romantic phrasal verbs in English? Hi. Welcome to Jen Studio. My name is Jen, and today I'm going to teach you 10 romantic phrasal verbs connected to love and relationships. A phrasal verb is a verb, an action word, and a preposition. Words like in, on, at, from, to. And the verb and the preposition come together to create a new, unique expression in English. For example, our first phrasal verb for today is fall for. Fall is the verb and for is the preposition. If you fall for someone, it means that you are attracted to them. You feel very strongly infatuated with them. It's similar to saying that you fell in love with someone. After seeing how kind and generous she was to others, he immediately fell for her. Luckily, my best friend fell for an amazing man. Our second phrasal verb for today is crush on. To crush on someone is slang, and this phrasal verb is used only very informally. If you crush on someone, it means that you are attracted to them. You have romantic feelings towards them, but you are unable to properly express your feelings to that person. In addition, the phrasal verb to crush on someone is specifically used to talk about the romantic feelings that teenagers or adolescents might have for each other. We don't usually use this phrasal verb to describe adults' feelings. When I was a junior high school student, I crushed on the same guy for about two and a half years, but he never really seemed to notice me. Although the boy was totally crushing on the girl from his English class, he was too shy to talk to her. Romantic phrasal verb number three is to be into someone. If you are into someone, it means that you are interested in them romantically. You would like to get to know them better and try and pursue a relationship with them. My friend was really into one of her coworkers, but as she got to know him more, she realized he wasn't the one for her. In university, one of my friends was into one of our classmates, but he had a girlfriend. Romantic phrasal verb number four is go out. This phrasal verb, go out, can have two meanings romantically. The first meaning of go out means to go on a date with someone. For example, the first time my husband and I went out was for dinner and karaoke. Every Thursday night, Jess and Chris go out. The other meaning of the phrasal verb go out in a romantic situation is to be in a romantic committed relationship. So if two people are dating, they are boyfriend and girlfriend, you can say that they are going out. For example, I went out with my husband for about a year and a half before we got engaged. Sarah and Tom have been going out for three years now. I think he's gonna propose soon. Phrasal verb number five is ask out. To ask someone out means to invite them to go on a date with you. You're inviting them to go to the movies or have dinner or something like that. You are asking them out. Many guys are very shy when it comes to asking a girl out. Since he was really into his coworker, he decided to ask her out. Phrasal verb number six is set up. If you set up two people, it means that you are arranging a date for them. You think that the two people would make a good couple and you are organizing a chance for them to meet each other. I think my friend Dan would really hit it off with my friend Beth, so I'm going to set them up on Friday night. Joe and Bob fell for each other after being set up by a mutual friend. Phrasal verb number seven is settle down. If you settle down, it means that you stay in a long-term, lifelong, committed relationship with someone. Maybe you get married or you live together common law and you decide you're going to stay that way in a stable situation for a long time. My husband and I settled down together 10 years ago. One of my friends is a total party animal and she loves going out with different guys. 
But I think once she finds the right guy and falls for him, she'll settle down. Phrasal verb number eight is light up. We use this phrasal verb to describe someone or specifically someone's face or someone's eyes. If you say that someone is lit up, it means that they suddenly look very happy and very excited. For example, I light up every time my husband comes into the room. His eyes lit up as soon as he got a text message from the girl he was into. Her face lights up every time she thinks of her boyfriend. Phrasal verb number nine is to chat up someone or to hit on someone. These two phrasal verbs mean that you are making it obvious to someone that you are attracted to them. You are flirting with them and giving them compliments and trying to get them to also be interested in you. I remember once when I was in university, a guy was complimenting me and talking with me and being very friendly. I thought he was just being nice, but my friend told me that he was totally hitting on me and I'd just been oblivious to it. After spending a few hours hitting on the guy she was into, she was thrilled when he finally asked her out. Phrasal verb number 10 for romantic relationships is to hit it off. If you hit it off with someone, it means that you easily connect with each other and have a good relationship. You get along well with each other. Get along is another good phrasal verb to describe having a friendly, good relationship. If you hit it off with someone, it usually specifically is romantic and is usually connected to the idea of when you first meet the person, you immediately have a good connection with them. For example, my husband and I hit it off when we first met at a party. He really hit it off with his new coworker, and I wouldn't be surprised if he asked her out sometime soon. So today, you have learned 10 phrasal verbs connected to love and romance. Hopefully now you can use these phrasal verbs in your conversations. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question of the day is, in the comments below, using phrasal verbs from today's lesson, please tell me about a romantic relationship that you have or that you have had. Let me see your sentences in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. If you found it useful, please subscribe to Jen's Jugil and give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with your English studies. See you in the next lesson.